Hasidic Gems on Parshish B'Shalach. The Pesach says, Vayihi B'Shalach Paroi Es Ha'om. And it happened to be, it was, when Paro sent away Klal Yisrael from Mitzrayim. That's the simple. The Hasidic Yitorah are telling us, wherever it says Vayihi, it's a lotion of Tsar. It's a lotion of sorrow. So the Pesach is saying here, there is no greater sorrow than if a person thinks that he already sent away his paro. What does paro mean? Paro means, in the Hasidic Shetorilach, paro means the Yetzirah. There is no greater sadness than a person who thinks, I made it. I already sent away my Yetzahara. Now I can do whatever I want. I don't have to do anything. That's wrong. That's a tsar godel if a person thinks that way. A person has to work on sending away, on getting rid of his Yetzahara all the 120 years that he lives. Now we come to a great Hasidic classic. It says in the Pesach, V'ashem hoylech lefnei ham yoimam l'anchoyo b'amud anon. V'ashem hoylech lefnei ham yoimam b'amud anon. Hashem went before them with a pillar of cloud. L'anchoysam haderech. To lead the way for Klal Yisrael. That's the simple. L'anchoysam means to lead the way. L'anchoysim haderech. The Hasidic Shetorilach say that L'anchoysim comes from the word nachas, which means, and haderech means there's only haderech, there's only one derech, how to serve, how to serve Hashem. That every action we do, we should, we should only do something that will be a nachas ruach, will be pleasant for our Kodesh Baruch Hu. That's the only thing we should do. Our job on earth is to do things that our Kodesh Baruch Hu will, will have nachas from. No Lashon Hora, no doing Averis, Lan to, 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 there's one derech that we have to do, and that is, that all our deeds should should be a nachas ruach for our Kodesh Baruch. Hasidic gems on Parshas B'Shalach. We continue. Nevuchim heim bo oretz sogar alehem hamidbar. The Klal Yisrael were enclosed in the midbar. In the wilderness, Pare saw that they, they didn't know exactly where they were going. They were going and then coming back. The Vuchim Heim Ba'aretz, they were enclosed in, in, in the Midbar. That's the simple. The Hasidic Yitzhak is saying there's something that stops a person from davening properly from learning properly, and let's see what that is. Nevuchim heim ba'oretz. If they are involved in oretz, means gashmias. If they are immersed in 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 uh, in, in tivus and temptations and gashmias, then sogar aleim hamidbo. You think it means the wilderness and. Close was closed for the, closed them in. It means sogar aleim achasidus shetorilach instead of hamidbo hamedaber. Speaking Torah and speaking tefillah, if a person is enclosed, is immersed in gashmias, in materialism, in temptations, then he closes his medaber. His mouth has no power to daven properly, and his mouth has no. No, no, no power to learn properly. Continuing with Chasidus Yitoyderlach on Parshas B'Shalach, another classic. 
It says, It says that the two camps, the Klal Yisrael were in front and the Mitzrayim were, were in, in hot pursuit of Klal Yisrael, but the clouds, the cloud, the Onan, came, the Onan that was leading Klal Yisrael came behind them and separated between the two camps. All night, they couldn't, uh, they were not near each other. The ammunition that the Egyptians were, were, uh, were, were throwing at Klai Yisrael when, when did, did not work because the Malach was there, the Onan was there. That's the simple. The Hasidic Shetarilach are telling us why we are in Golis. Kol Halayla, all night. All night. What does night mean? Night means Golis. You know why we're in Golis? Because because we're not near each other. We don't care for each other enough. We don't worry about our neighbor, our friend. Since for the Korav Zel Zeh, that's why you call Halayla, that's why we're in Golis. So we have to do Chuva and we have to start caring more about the other person. So the Posuk says, Hashem Ish Milchoma. Hashem is a man of war. That's what it translates. That's the simple. The Hasidic Shetarlach tell us, Hashem, you know who Hashem is found to be with? Ish Milchama, the person who goes out to war against his Yetzirah, Hashem is with that person. Great thing to go out, go against the Yetzirah and not let him tell us what to do. Okay, now we're going to just make a little sikum on everything all the Hasidic Shetorlach was saying that a person should um, a person who who thinks that he sent away the Yetzirah it's very sad, very sad because a person the Yetzirah is going to be with him for 120 years and he has to constantly work work to overcome overcome the Yet Sahara. We also learned that there's only one derech, one way for a Jew to do properly, and that is to whatever we do, we should ask ourselves, will Hashem be happy with this, what we're doing? Am I speaking the right things? Am I speaking, am I embarrassing people? Am I speaking Lashon Hara? Am I doing wrong things? We have to question everything we speak and everything we do. We have to question that if this will be a nachas ruach, lan chaysam haderech, it's the only way that we have. We learn that if a person is immersed in materialism, it's going to affect his tfilis. His learning, his tfilis, it's going to close up his mouth from speaking properly, from from learning Torah properly, we have to break the Taivas from us, the Gashmias. We also learned that the reason that we're in Golis is because we're not, we don't care enough about each other. So we should try to improve and try to worry about our friends and neighbors and do for them and help them and then Mitz Hashem Hashem will take us out of Golos. Amen v'yamin. We should be zeichet to do all these things properly. Amen v'yamin.